Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the B Fight B F I G H T uh, 210. What is the B Fight 210? Well, it is a lightweight 210 sized uh, FPV racer. Okay, actually, I think it's actually more intended for uh, freestyle flying because of its weight. It is very lightweight. I, I weighed mine without the props and without the battery. It's about 250 uh, grams uh, without the uh, props attached and without the battery attached. Uh, all in all, it's, you know, it's all the electronics are encased in the center here. There are no ESCs on the outboard side here or on the arms. Um, and the, it, instead, it has a 4-in-1 uh, BL Heli S 30 amp e, uh, flight or 4-in-1 ESCs in the center here. We have an Omnibus Pro, F3 Omnibus Pro uh, flight control board in the center here with a beeper attached. I guess the uh, original version of this did not have beeper. Now they have beeper attached. And we have an FPV transmitter on top. And sandwiched in between here, this is a Biden Fly version with a little D8 Free Sky um, receiver here. I'm going to talk about that here shortly. And the, the big thing about this is this has a very nice... Um, uh, CCD FPV camera on the front here. Um, it's 650 TVL, uh, TV, yeah, 650 TVL CCD camera with this uh, attached to this 25 slash 200 milliwatt tr FPV transmitter. Now that FPV transmitter um, has a connection port or connection pin on the back here. Uh, th this is the way it comes hooked up out of the box here with a little uh, monopole antenna but you it also comes with an adapter so that you can attach an uh, SMA adapter here if you wish to use other antennas like a uh, clover leaf antenna there or circular polarized antennas now um, the thing about mine you know I got this about a month ago and I was haven't been able to fly it until today and the reason being Again, I mentioned it comes with this little, uh, I had a Free Sky version here with this little Free Sky receiver in here. I was able to bind it, but I was not getting any inputs showing in Betaflight when I would connect this up to Betaflight. And I had a heck of a time figuring it out until somebody, I noticed on some of the, uh, uh, in RC groups and also on some of the reviews of this, that people had snipped this little white wire that goes to the FPV transmitter. And doing a little more research, I, you know, this thing w is designed supposedly to allow you to change the FPV uh, transmission channels via your uh, transmitter, your controller transmitter. It does this through SBUS. But this SBUS input here is interfering with the uh, SBUS on the receiver. Okay, and when it's active, I, you know, you can't get inputs to work from the receiver and I, I confirmed that all I did was I unplugged this plug going to the FPV uh, transmitter and that, voila you know as soon as I plugged it into beta flight oh, my receiver is working perfectly so you know the fix that most people have done is to snip this white wire there's a white wire going to the upper uh, flight con or the upper FPV transmitter and that fixed the issue in mine. And I'll include a little blurb at the end of this video to show you how, you know, how I did it and how others have been doing it. But, uh, you know, that is just a interim fix. There should be a way to allow you to control this. <laughs> I haven't seen, I've seen somebody successfully reprogram this to allow you to do such. That's Andy RC. However, I've tried, and for the past month, they have been trying, you know, different setups to get it to work, and I was not successful to get it to work with this, so I just gave up. So, well, that's it. Uh, let's go for a flight of this thing. Okay, let's get this set up. First off, i got to turn my deviation transmitter on here, and uh, selecting model menu, going in model setup, and loading, not free sky. I had free sky loaded there. This, yeah, yeah, it is free sky. I'm sorry. <laughs> Free Sky is the one I want, so we're going to exit out of this. Again, i got a Free Sky receiver in there. And now I'm going to plug in the quadcopter. And we should be set. Okay, first thing off, we're going to fly in angle mode. So going up to angle, and I have this switch here set for beeper and then for arm all the way down. So we're armed. Let's fly it around in angle mode first and see how it flies. So, setting it up slowly first, seeing how it feels.
bringing it by me, bringing it up close, turning it around. It feels good. And punch. <laughs> it does have a lot of punch, even with a 1300 mil or a um, 3S battery. Let's try it again. Ready, set. Lots of punch. Okay, so it feels good. It feels good in uh, angle mode. Let's bring it in. And what I'm going to do, folks, we are going to land it first, and then I'm going to set it up, set it up in uh, acro mode. So I got a nice wind from my back here, so I got to put it down like that. <laughs> so disarming, and let's go fly it in acro now. See how it performs in acro. So hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Hey, one thing I noticed on this. Um, the uh, brightness and the brightness is set up real high on that. You can adjust the brightness on that CCD camera, and I recommend doing so before you go out on your first flight like I did today. I had to compensate for that by adjusting for the brightness and contrast on my goggles, but it, it's very bright. So keep that in mind. Uh, go outside. There's a little button on the back of the CCD camera that you can bring that brightness and contrast and adjust it uh, before coming out here. Unfortunately, I did not do that. <laughs> So, okay, we are recording. I should be set to go. Let me adjust this so it looks better, so I can see it better. And arming, we're actually selecting acro first, and arming, and let's go for a flight. Hope you enjoy the second part of the flight. Yeah, I'm noticing right away that the uh, video signal was very bright. Okay, the wind's coming from my back here, so I gotta keep that in mind. Let's try punch. I am an acro. It didn't let me uh, flip. I tried to do a flip again. Let's try it again. There, I did it that time. I don't know what happened there. I tried to do a flip and it didn't want to flip. Let's bring it around again. Oh, it doesn't want to come back down again. It goes up. So, you know, that's what people want this quadcopter for primarily, I guess, is for um, freestyle. Freestyle flying because it, doesn't, it has a lot of momentum when you set it up. And it stays up in the air quite a bit. Like so. So you can do lots and lots of fun things with this. Now, as a racer, I don't know. You know, it's... Um, the main reason being, you know, it's so lightweight. Its arms are set up lightweight. So allow you to do things like that. But being lightweight, I'm not sure how well it can withstand crashes, in other words. It's just flying nicely, though. For those who want to get into freestyling, wee! <laughs> this has plenty of momentum to do such. <laughs> do weird things with this. Hey, I was worried about range on this, but uh, I don't know. I got pretty darn good range, darn good FPV range, and darn good control range. That's surprising considering the receiver on this thing. I'm just going wee, wee. <laughs> this is a quad copter you can go up and do wee with. Go wee. <laughs> That's the idea. This is a this is a very good freestyle quadcopter, in other words. He's got, and I'm still using just a little, not a little, but quite a big <laughs> 3S battery. It's lifted it quite easily and quite readily. Now, oh dang, I like this thing. We, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so I'm getting a lot of flight time out of this. 3, using a 3S battery. <laughs> so fun, fun, fun quadcopter. The B Fight 210. Um, again, you know, I don't know what the issue is with being able to change uh, the frequency. You know, they, they wanted you to be able to, let's fly it low now. I want to fly low. For, you know, I got the 
camera angle set up not very high so I can't go very fast with it but let's see how low I can get it with it let's do some low flybys so you can see it so I'm not gonna be going too fast with it you know the, the settings out of the box are nice but they're actually meant for I guess fiddling around and flying it um, here I don't want to go in the sun my wife will won't be able to see it but let's bring it by closely slow and well, there it is. What do you think, folks? The Beat Bike 210. <laughs> Boy, I got through that. It, it goes up high and fast and stays up there. So, I got 11.0 volts. I don't know if I'm going to do the 4S flight. Uh, because this flight's so long, you're, you folks are going to get bored. You'll get bored, you know, if I go to 4S flight, 4S signal. I mean, 4S battery. This one's going such such a long flight time with a 15 milli, 100 milliamp per hour battery. Now, next thing I should try is raising up the camera angle a little bit more so I can go fast. I mean, it's okay. I'm getting out the edge of the signal there. I was too low. Had a little bit of a drop out there. Um, the issue, you know, that I was bringing up with the uh, receiver that they got in there, the D8 receiver, it's really a micro quadcopter receiver. Um, meant for, oh, there goes my beeper. I'll bring it in now. Let me, I'll show you that, what I'm talking about here shortly as I bring it in for a landing. Which way is the wind blowing from my back? So let me bring it down. And we'll bring it in for a landing now. There's a beep there. This is getting to be a long flight, longer flight than I intended it to be. Ow. Ouch. <laughs> but let me show you what I'm talking about that receiver. We're going to call it quits here for the flying. Let me get out of the chair. I'll take that hat back. Thanks, huh? But um, I was surprised. I actually had good reception. Good reception. Look at that. My antenna was loose too. Um, even with that, maybe it's the T8SG power. It's 150 milliwatts. But uh, let me unplug this first. But what I'm talking about, folks, is notice on this D8 receiver, this little antenna here, uh, there are angles. You know, if you're up high and an angle like so, that could block the antenna reception from the antenna, but uh, apparently it had no problems at all, especially with my T8SG. I've uh, had a lot of, you know, this has 150 milliwatt transmitting power, so maybe that's what was happening there. But, you know, even though I was flying this with only a 3S battery, I was still getting plenty of oomph out of this thing, you know, lots of acceleration. So, of course, it's probably going to make this a screamer. So, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this flight of the B-Flight 210. This is a quadcopter for those who want to play around with freestyle, you know, get into freestyle flying because of its light weight. It goes up and it stays up there for quite a while, allowing you to do goofy things with it before it comes back down again. So keep that in mind. That's what this one's for. So hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here. And um, for those of you that got the b Fight uh, 210 with the FreeSky transmitter, you probably discovered that you're going to have a hard time, <laughs> even though you can get the uh, um, receiver to bind with it, um, the signals, once you plug it into uh, Betaflight, you'll notice that you, uh, none of the signals are going to the from the receiver to the flight control board. And the real issue is, this is the uh, video transmitter, and the video transmitter is connected to that receiver via its S-Bus. You know, there's S-Bus signal wire going up there. And I think the idea was that you'd be able to uh, change the channels on the video transmitter using your... your uh, um, controller transmitter, uh, RC controller transmitter, or Tyrannus transmitter, if you will, uh, FreeSky transmitter, but uh, I don't think the engineers that designed this thought that through properly, <laughs> and in instead it was creating interference, so um, it's not really needed. You can actually change the channels on this transmitter, I believe, by just pressing this button here, <laughs> so I, uh, what I did was, and what other people have discovered uh, to get rid of that problem so that your receivers will be sending the signals to the flight control board is to cut that S-Bus wire. It's the white wire 
going into this top video transmitter. Um, you'll notice on the plug it goes in there. Just pop the top off, four screws, and you know just unplug this, and you'll notice the white wire there, and just cut that white wire. And I put a little piece of tape over one end here to protect it, and then insert the the plug back in again into the video transmitter. So you know it's very simple fix. It corrects the issue. It's not really needed. The idea again was to allow you to change. I believe to change the channels on the uh, video transmitter remotely using the remote control, but um, it's just as simple to press that button before taking off and getting that uh, channel set up that way. So, simple fix and it'll get you in the air. So, I hope that helps.